So this is commonly referred to as the mixing equation in differential equations. Let's take a look. It says the tank contains 1000 liters of brine, and brine means that we have salt solutions or salt water. And initially we have 15 kg of dissolved salt in the solutions already. And we are going to put in pure water. As you can see, we have pure water goes into the tank at a rate of 10 liters per minute. And then in the tank, we're just going to mix the solutions all together. And we are going to drain out the solution from our tank at the same rate. And the question is, we would like to know how much salt is in the tank after t minutes, after 20 minutes. So first, I would like to say a of t could be the amount of the salt in the tank at time t. So a is a function of time. And let's look at the picture real quick. As you can see, this is my picture of the tank. The water is goes into the tank at the rate of 10 liters per minute. And we have a of t kilogram of salt in the tank. And initially we have 15 kilograms, so I wrote down A of 0 is equal to 15. And notice that I also wrote down the volume of the solutions in the tank. It's always going to be 1,000 liter, because even though we have water goes in, but then we also drain out the solutions, and they happen to be at the same rate. 10 liters per minute goes in, 10 liters per minute of the solutions goes out. So the volume was this inside, which is 1,000 liters. And now we are going to come up with a differential equation to model the situation. And this is the key point. If, once again, A of T to be the amount of the salt in the tank, then dA dt stands for the rate of change of the salt in the tank. Well, what should it be? It should be the rate of the salt comes in, and then subtract the rate of the salt goes out. Right, the difference between how much salt they come in and how much salt it's been uh, losing out, right? And we're talking about the rate. So these are the idea, okay? And we are going to write down the ADT, and we just have to figure out what's the rate of the salt that's causing. Well, that's this part. However, as you can see, we have only pure water goes into the tank. So. Technically, we know we have no salt that's been going in. We know this is zero right away. But let me show you what's the typical setup for this. Typically, I'll write down zero because that's for pure water. It contains no salt, okay? The concentration of pure water is just zero because it has no salt. Times the 10, okay? I will actually write down zero times 10 for you. And once again, this right here stands for the concentration of the salt that goes in, which is zero because we have pure water. And then this right here is the flow in rate. Okay? And if you multiply these two together, you can get the rate of the salt that goes in. And then we are going to subtract the rate of the salt that goes out. It will be the same setup. We need to take the concentration and then multiply with the flow out rate. That's how we can calculate the rate of salt goes out. But then when we drain out the solutions from the tank, we need to first figure out what's the concentration of the solutions in the tank, right? How do we do that? Remember, to calculate concentration, we need to know the amount and then we divide the amount by the volume. The amount changes, so I'm just going to label that as A, and we divide it by the volume. The volume doesn't change, it's always 1000, because we have 10 liters per minute of water goes in, and it also drains out 10 liters per minute of the solution. So we do A over 1000. Once again, amount divided by the volume, that gives us the concentration. And we care about the concentration in the tank because we care about to drain out the solutions from the tank. That's how we do that. And as you can see, that's pretty much the concentration. And now I just have to multiply this with my flow out rate. And it flows out at the rate of 10 liters per minute. So I multiply with this by 10. So this right here is the 10, which is technically the flow out rate. Okay? And that's the differential equation. And we also have an initial condition, we know that A of 0 is equal to 15 because initially there was 15 kilograms of uh, dissolved salt. 
And now after we set this up, we just need to solve this differential equation with the initial condition, then we can pretty much answer the question. And I'll do that in the next video.